All right, class. It's time for our holiday photos. Everyone, come on up and put your letter to Santa in the bag. Once you do, go stand next to the Christmas tree. Thank you, Patrice. Your outfit looks so cute. Thank you. Thank you, Angelo. You look adorable. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Maria, what are you wearing? Your outfit looks terrible. It's dirty. It even has holes in it. I told you to wear something nice to the party. Sorry, Miss Jeffries. Clearly not sorry enough to care. <sighs> You're gonna ruin the holiday photo. You know what? Go stand in the back behind Angelo and Patrice so no one can see that outfit. Thank you, Jessica. You look great. Thank you, Adam. All right, before we begin, let's make sure we have everything. Adam, you brought cookies. Great. And Jessica, I see you brought the pizza. Perfect. Maria, you were supposed to bring chips. I don't see any chips. Well, I wasn't able to bring anything. What do you mean? We have been talking about this potluck for weeks. I know. What happened was... Uh, we all know what happened. You forgot. I am so disappointed in you. Now nobody at the party is going to be able to eat chips. I'm sorry, Miss Jeffries. Since you didn't contribute anything, you can be the last in line to eat. Patrice, you can go first. For me. Thank you. Wow, Angelo, what a great gift. Um, Patrice, you're number two. I'll choose this one. I don't understand. Where's the gift? Oh, um, there must be some mistake. Who brought this one? Maria, did you bring this? Yeah, no, here's the gift. I wrote it myself. That is not a gift. That is a worthless piece of paper. You were supposed to spend $20. I tried to. Tried? You didn't try at all. First you show up wearing that. You don't bring any food to the party and now you don't bring a gift? This is unacceptable. I really wanted to, but you see? I don't want to hear it. Here, you keep this. I don't want anyone else to get stuck with it. Therese, you choose another gift, honey. Hey, how'd it go? Uh, it went fine. Uh, well, there was this one student, Maria. She literally didn't bring anything to the party. It was like... She didn't even care. Oh, well, maybe something else is going on. I mean, you never know what someone else is going through. Anyway, I gotta go. See you tomorrow? Yeah, have a good night. Dear Santa, my name is Maria, and I don't usually ask for much, but I could really use your help. You see, 
My mom just lost her job a few months ago. And since Papa hasn't been around, we've been having a hard time paying our bills. We're barely getting by. Today I was supposed to wear a nice outfit for a holiday party. But all I have are my old clothes. Mom says we can't afford new ones. So if you could please bring me some new clothes without holes in them, I'd really appreciate that. I was also supposed to bring food for our potluck, but we barely have enough to eat at home. Mom says we don't have enough money to buy groceries, so if you could please bring us some extra food, that would be really nice. And one last thing, if not too much to ask, I'm supposed to bring a Christmas gift for someone in my class. But mom doesn't have any money. Even if I don't get any gifts, if you could please get one for them, that would mean so much to me. So you see, my mom and I are really struggling right now. I'm sorry to ask for a lot, but I really want to do everything Miss Jeffrey's asked me to do. She's an amazing teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much. Merry Christmas, Santa. <laughs> Love, Maria. I'm so sorry. Couldn't get any presents this year. It's okay. Hi, uh, is Maria home? I'm her teacher. Oh, yes. Miss Jeffries! What are you doing here? Well, I came to deliver some packages. It looks like these are from the North Pole. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Uh, here, take these. Come on, let's go open them. I've got more. <laughs> Please, come in. <laughs> hey, here we go. May I? Of course, absolutely. <clears throat> Open them! Wow! New clothing! Just like I asked for! I love them! <laughs> wow! Lots of food! Now everyone in our class can eat chips! Oh! <laughs> This is all for you. For me? But I asked Santa to give a gift to someone in our class. Not me. I feel so bad. I ruined the whole party because I didn't bring anything. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey. Hey, no, you didn't ruin anything. In fact, I'm the one that's sorry. I never should have gotten mad at you at the party today. I realize now that you never know what someone else is going through. Do you think you could forgive me? Of course. <sighs> okay, but Santa told me personally that all of this is just for you, nobody else. Really? I'm so happy. In a relentless world, connected but alone, trapped by illusion. But there is another path where the battle to belong begins. <laughs>